A lawsuit has been filed against three entities to help foot the bill for the cleanup of the Trafalgar Road fire in Bella Vista. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill in Bella Vista with details of that lawsuit. We do have some guilty parties that did this, and we have the evidence of it, and so we would like for them to pay for this cleanup. Bella Vista homeowners claim the stump dump fire is still causing health concerns, even as the state is working to put it out. On Wednesday morning, resident Jim Parsons filed a lawsuit against the Bella Vista Property Owners Association, Cooper Communities, and Tom Fredericks, the owner of Blue Mountain Storage. They have the deep, deep pockets to do it, so... Uh, let's ask them to clean up the mess that they made. Parsons said the POA rented the stump dump from Blue Mountain Storage from 2003 until 2016, claiming it was used as a junkyard. Last month, Governor Asa Hutchinson signed a proclamation officially declaring the Trafalgar Road fire an emergency, dedicating millions to put it out. NSAFE, an engineering firm, has been contracted by ADEQ to put out the fire, eliminate the smoke, and remove the hazardous substances from the site. It was an illegal dump all along. And while the cost to put out the stump dump fire keeps changing, Parsons says taxpayers shouldn't have to foot the bill. We want them to pay for it, and uh, we feel like that uh, we have things in Bella Vista like the uh, Arkmo land that's just sitting there, several million dollars. The POA could sell that. We reached out to all three defendants. The POA released this statement. Once we officially receive the complaint filed against the Property Owners Association, we will review the allegations. We're unable to make further comments regarding ongoing litigation. In Bella Vista, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News. Thanks, Kelly. This is not the